Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm reviewing the new cigar from La Aurora. This is the ADN Dominicano. Now, actually, ADN Dominicano means the DNA of the Dominican. Um, they debuted this cigar at the 2017 Pro Cigar Festival in the Dominican Republic. And it incorporates a tobacco known as Andulo into the blend. Andulo is a tobacco that undergoes a very different curing process than traditional cigar tobacco leaves. It involves putting the tobacco leaves in palm seed pods. And the pods are then wrapped in uh, rope, causing the andulo tobacco to compress into a thick bar, almost looking like a roll of salami. ADN Dominicano stands for Dominican DNA. And while andulo isn't very common in a premium handmade cigar, the use of andulo tobacco is an old Dominican process and the company pays homage to that process with the ADN Dominicano release. It is a multi-national uh, uh, cigar, comes in four sizes. The blend is actually, the wrapper is Dominican from the Cibao Valley, and the binder is Cameroon, and the filler is Dominican from the Cibao Valley, Pennsylvanian, and Nicaraguan Andulo. I'm assuming they're, they're putting all that uh, filler into, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what which one is made into the Andulo. Country of origin, Dominican Republic, La Aurora. The four sizes are Robusto, Toro, which I am assuming this is. This measures five and three-fourths in length, and that matches up to the Toro, five and three-fourths by 54. But to be real honest with you, that looks like larger than a Toro ring. But I'll go with it. Churchill, seven by 47, and a Grand Toro, six by 58. Had this been six inches, I would say it was the Grand Toro, but it uh, measures exactly five and three fourths there is the density by the way now this cigar is a medium brown there was a lot of background information so let's get right to the cigar look the, the band is quite different uh, i like it um, i've already had one of these earlier this week now that's sort of the long and the short of it so let's get right to it, finally. The new La Aurora ADN Dominicano Toro. I am convinced this is the Toro, although it. I had to put this cigar side by side with other 54s, and it just looks large. Very good, very good draw. I'll be honest with you, it's taken me a while to pin these down, but I think I have. I'm coming up with dry cedar, orange peel, brown sugar, cinnamon black pepper at eight and a half it's really nice and it's lingering nicely on the finish there is also a black coffee base so that's how it starts there is just this little zest of of, of, of uh, orange peel to go along with that dry cedar but it's sweet from a, a brown sugar flavor and some cinnamon i did that because you know my cinnamon's kind of 
sparkly, I guess. I don't know. But there's a lot of black pepper, so it starts out really nice. So uh, I am very anxious to see where we go from here. Well, I guess I'm two inches in. And a few things, <clears throat> excuse me, a few things have changed, not a lot. You still have the the cedar, dry cedar, the orange peel, which is starting to get a little more like a citrus rather than just a peel, but it's still an orange peel per se, caramel, and cinnamon. It's definitely caramel because it has that almost caramel richness that you have with uh, caramel flavors and the coffee at the base the pepper remains very good i would call the cigar medium leaning toward medium to full the finish is what i'll call a caramel cream with very nice lingering black pepper so that the only real big difference is the uh, obvious caramel notes. But the cigar, has, cigar has substantial amount of sweetness to it. Uh, I think we'll be at medium to full here almost by the time I finish this segment. But it, uh, very nice, very nice cigar from La Aurora. So let's see how it transitions. <music> Well, I've got about two or inches or so left. And I noticed that there's the addition of some, some dry roasted type nuts as a subtle flavor on the front end. It's really sort of like a, uh, uh, a dry pecan. It's not a prominent flavor, but it is subtle and it's there. The front end flavors are still about the same. The cedar citrus peel citrus combination is very nice. The caramel makes it a, a, a sweet, gives it a nice sweetness, and there's that sprinkling of cinnamon to go along with it. The pepper, especially the lingering pepper, is very good. Usually you can get a lot of pepper on a retro hail. This is no exception. Medium to full body, and the finish is unchanged. So. We're not far from finishing up, but the cigar is burning nice and slowly. You can see we're already over an hour here. So I'll be back here shortly to wrap it up. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Cigar really didn't change much. It just had a long burn time. It was nice. The uh, dry cedar orange peel combination was pretty nice. It had nice flavors. The caramel had the sweetness. The subtle dry pecans were gave it a little bit of a something extra in there. And the cinnamon was nice. Pepper remained very good in the cigar. Medium to full body, definitely. And the finish was unchanged. <clears throat> I enjoyed this cigar. It was uh, sort of uh, in line with what I would expect from a La Aurora type cigar and their flavors. And uh, I've got links to them on the blog and, and what have you. So uh, I would say this is in the well worth trying category. I'm rating it a 91. Good cigar. Nice flavors. Something I think that most cigar lovers would gravitate toward in the flavors. So uh, I would suggest you trying it. So there you have it. The La Aurora ADN Dominicano Toro. 91.